This is what it looks like when I try to smile when I don't want to. So I don't. I have apple butter. Okay, I have apple butter that's a little over a year old, a little over two years old in these two, and then Solko, who comments on my YouTube channel quite a bit and is also a patron, sent me Dutch apple butter. This is made with juice and peeled apples, and this, I believe, is made with just juice. I think he said that stroop means syrup, so this is called apple stroop. These two are 100% apple. This one is apples with raisins and a few spices, and it's just pure, basically pure fruit. So yeah, I wanted to do a checkup on my apple butter that's, you know, a couple years old now, just to make sure it still looks good, and then we're going to open these and taste them. I've already broken into this, and it's amazing. So let's start with the oldest first, and the other interesting thing here is that these were stored with just, you know, a piece of paper, and then this one has a piece of parchment, uh, or whatever, baking parchment. Some moisture can still leave and get in there, but my experience so far with that, uh, this one's the same, I think, is that that's not the best and I prefer to actually have a lid because these have gotten much drier. Yeah, this is, this is much, much drier. Anyway, there's nothing growing in here. You know, it's perfectly shelf stable, even just covered with paper very dry. Now I had one more of these with a regular lid on it, but I didn't bring it out. But it has kept well too, but it's actually stayed the, the moisture level that I intended it to be in the first place. Anyway, those are still really good, but they're too dry to spread. Mm, they're really good. Seriously. Wow. And again, those are made, and this too, with just apple juice and peeled apples. You can watch my video for more on that. Now this is a much more spreadable consistency. And it's still drier than this stuff, as we'll see in a minute. But nothing's growing on here. You know, this was not canned. It wasn't sealed. It's just poured in here, and then the lid's put on it. And it's not hot packed. Mmm. Much better texture, maybe a little bit better flavor. I think I just didn't cook this as much. But anyway, they're all really good. Main thing is, they're keeping without any refrigeration. So the original video I did on this, I talk about the old accounts of apple butter that I dug up, where people were talking about making it only every seven years and then just keeping it in big crocks. This predates canning jars, so they weren't canned, they weren't heat sealed, and uh, it's just the amount of sugar, balancing the amount of sugar with the amount of moisture, they just hit a point where they don't spoil. So this has a much less grainy texture, and again, I think it's because there's no apples in here, it's just apple juice. Again, this one has raisins and cinnamon. I mean, that is incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. Just incredible. He said that this stuff is very, very common there, and it's one of the first words his uh, little nephews learned. That's very good, but it's not as good as that. Mm. And again, there's no grain to this at all. It's real smooth. It's almost like a super thick syrup. I think that's what it is. Again, good. Very similar to that. This is better. Why, well, I don't know. This actually isn't as sweet, and it's much more tart. It's very tart. I think this one says it's 22 apples, and this one it's 21 apples, and I think this one said 30 apples per jar, approximately. So yeah, I actually prefer uh, my apple butter to this. It could be the varieties of apples that they used. It's good. This is better and so are these, um, but I would say these are too dry and they won't spread at all. They're, they're way too dry to spread. And this is off the charts. I don't know if it's the apples they used, the raisins, the cinnamon. That is freaking incredible. 
Uh, so is this, but some, for some reason that's a little notch above. So thank you, Sulko, for sending those. I'm real interested in researching this, this idea. And uh, since I made that first video, numerous people have told me about other products and one company, which I forget the name of, but I'm going to put it on the screen, that makes the real old school apple butter that's nothing but fruit. Now, when I looked, I looked pretty hard to find anything, and I couldn't find anything in the States. So it's very, very uncommon, but there is this one company that still makes it. I'm sure there's some other holdouts. Someone said the Amish still make it. That totally makes sense. Uh, but there's other stuff. I think I've heard of stuff from Portugal, maybe Belgium, Russia, several different places where they make fruit butters and apple butter that are all fruit. So there you go. I think the verdict is basically this stuff's not going to go bad. It's just not. I mean, I could probably eat this in 10 years and it's still going to be good. It may even improve. And one of the accounts I read said that it improves with age over years. And that's one of the reasons I only made it every seven years in some cases. So this is an awesome thing to add to your food preservation arsenal. You can take 20 apples and stick them in a jar this big, 30 apples here. I don't know how many apples this is because I didn't count. But you get the idea. That's a lot of apples that will keep not only for the year, for many years. So if you have a bumper apple crop, you could put up a few gallons of this stuff and just eat it for two years and get you through, you know, a lean year. Amazing stuff. Amazing and absolutely delicious. The, the modern apple butter that's more like a thick applesauce, no comparison. This is an entirely different animal.